my tablet. What do you do with that? I turn it on, like this. Welcome back to Tech Baby's Crib. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the software on this Amazon tablet. I'm gonna be showing you Amazon Kids Plus, formerly known as Amazon Free Time. And they rebranded recently, who knows, they might do it again soon, but it's got this pretty good software interface that I'm gonna go through and show you. Of course, this is part of our series on the Amazon um, Fire Tablet 8 Kids Edition. This is the, uh, so there's the Amazon tablet in here, which is a pretty, is a pretty amazing value tablet. Uh, definitely one of the best value tablets out there. And it came in the special package with the case, with a year subscription to the software, and with a whole bunch of other parental features and warranties. So really designed for the kids angle. And today I'm gonna to show you this free time or Kids Plus software, give you a sense of how it works, what it's got, whether it's worth it for you, and you can explore from there. Let us know if you have any questions, we'd be happy to show you. So first thing is, uh, the way we have it set up is so that Tech Baby can turn it on with the button and there's no password to get in. Um, if we set it to our profile, it requires a password. So that's where the protection comes in. Then you've got this open interface where you can slide down to see tons of tiles of apps. We'll go back up to the top just to point out that there's a camera app right there. You can jump into the camera and that's got cameras on the front and back. So that's the camera that's facing us. Right now you can take pictures and videos and it's pretty good. Um, and then you have a search so you could find anything specific you're looking for. Then there are a bunch of sections here at the top. Downloads is useful because not all the apps are downloaded all the time. And it's good to know which ones are there already if you're on a road trip or just anywhere without Wi-Fi, you wanna be able to open one of these apps right away. You're probably gonna to wanna to come to the downloaded section. Um, otherwise, you're going to um, be dealing with other apps that might not be on the device. There's two views, there's landscape and uh, portrait, and, and it's got the back button for Android and the home button. And of course you can swipe up anywhere from the bottom to get back to the home when you're within an app. So you got the downloads, you've got your apps and games. So this would pull up a whole bunch of different apps and games that are appropriate for your child. Of course you have to preset the age. Check out our setup video for more info on that. There's a movies and TV section. So this is basically stuff for them to watch. Sometimes don't love this section so much because you want uh, you want the kid to be enter to be entertained and interacting with things. Um, so I try to stay off that one sometimes and sometimes that one is all, all I really need. Education, this is a great section where basically if they're inside here, they're gonna be learning something, whether it's reading a book, watching, um, a show, learning about animals, whatever it is, these are all educational content. And I think you're getting the sense already that there is a ton of content that's been curated for this platform and goes for, through a lot of different age groups. It, it's really great. Here's books. So these are all books. Um, a lot of these books uh, require you to, to do the reading. So let's see if I have any of these ones on here already. Um, let's open this up. This is gonna be an example of a book that requires you to scroll through and to do the reading yourself. But there are also some books that have a read to me option. So let's see if we could find one of those. Back, again, back to the home screen like this. Um, there's books and then there's websites. And websites, um, there are some websites that are already preloaded, like uh, going to the Eiffel Tower, the Smithsonian, NASA. Uh, and this is a setting that you can enable from the parent setting. You could also add other websites. So then you've got your recent content as we're sliding down. This is stuff we've looked at recently. Doctor apps, uh, Space Y, Junior Princess episodes. So this is a whole category of apps called Disney episodes. And they've uh, collaborated with Disney here to make these interactive TV show episodes where you need to click on things and play. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's quite good content actually got your favorites so you can favorite different apps that they show up here we're teaching tech baby numbers we wanted that one up there and her favorite pj masks episode so we put that up there these are some apps that we added for tech baby so in managing the child profiles um, you can set up a whole bunch of filters let's see about adding content 
share content. So we have this mount, this for example, we can add this app. I'm gonna add that there. Um, you might wanna add other apps. I'm gonna add this Zoom app so that you can join calls. So that's how you add content there. So you can add any apps from the adults and these are some great educational ones. Khan Academy, Zoom for calls with family. And then there's uh, featured apps. So, you know, keep going down. There's characters. You can search by character, by theme. So you got, you know, the, the something Star Wars related or Barbie related across all the different types of content, whether it's videos, apps, educational. There's all Disney stuff. There's, you know, just keeps going. There's tons here. Now, one of the issues that I find with this interface is actually that there is a bit too much. It's a bit overwhelming. And that's that's pretty much it on this device is great because those are things that are already loaded. And there's just a ton of different kinds of content here. There's, uh, you know, all sorts of games where you color and components of games where you color. Maybe in the space game, there's a one sub app that's a coloring of a space scene. And that is a basic overview of the interface of Amazon Kids Plus or free time. If you want to see our other videos covering different aspects of this tablet, like the hardware or what the adult version looks like, or um, the other kids' profiles that aren't um, part of getting this subscription, check those out. When you're done with your kids' version, you want to scroll down from the notification zone and scroll down there and change your profiles. And that is about it. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. Tech it easy.